Billy guys, being here. Um, today let's model this uh, project. So it, it's from Sama. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, we'll create a pro. Oh, sorry, we we'll create a, a project. Okay, so now first, let's create a floor. Um, use a center and arc. So roughly, I guess it's about. Let's make it nine meter. Okay, so. And just stop here 180 degree and then drag this to uh, 270. And then uh, let's offset OF 4.5 meter roughly uh, right and then close this and extend this part so roughly 12 meter 4.5 go back here. So finish. Let's have a look in 3D view. So this is the floor. So um, I'm going to make it a little bit thick. Okay, so 300. Yeah, that's a, that's good. And then uh, use modify as sub element. So I'm going to make this edge uh, lift this edge. So roughly 3.3 um, meter high. And then let's lift this part as well. So we will have this flat. So this is flat, this part is flat, and then uh, all the way down to ground level. So now I'm going to create another level. So I'll just uh, I'll do it in 3D view. So CS create create a similar pick line. Let's pick this line, and I'll just draw a line perpendicular to that line. Another one here, another one parallel to this line and select, click select uh, this line, top in 12 meter as well, trim TR, and then that's the one. So now we have to uh, flow. So as you can see this one, uh, so when this curve connect to this flat face, uh, you won't see that because this, this is a, um, a tangent uh, connection. But here, if I join them, I still we can still see this line. I'm not sure why, but so but uh, what what we can do is we can edit this floor. So uh, I'm going to just move this, so for example by one meter, okay, and then I'll just edit this floor and extend extend this floor by one meter. So they will join at this point. So now you will see you won't see it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now you won't see any, you will not see any uh, lines between these two floors. So, yeah, you, you only see this one because uh, this is curved and this is flat. They are not tangent, so you will always see this line. But if you don't want to see them, you can also use uh, line work to hide them if you want to. Okay, so this is the floor, and let's do the roof as well. So we we'll go to roof so let's just change it back to ground floor with an offset okay so i'm going to um let's uh let me think 27 27 so now we can pick line you can uncheck the defined slope because we are going to use a modify sub element so we need to uh, create a flat roof okay so tab 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 pick edge this one this one not this one connect this so that's oh uh, and also that this one so extend this part delete delete this so this is the up the top one so finish this cs create another one so again go to ground floor with 22 27 100 uh, offset and then pick line tab and then that's the lower part so finish and then same let's join the okay so now we need to let's have a look of this so we need to modify sub elements so modify some element this one same uh, it will be uh, 3300 and also this this one will be 3300 so now we have oh hell 
looks like uh, it's overlapping a little bit. Uh, so this is 300, this is oh, 400. So let's edit type and create a new one. So let's call it 300. And OK, edit 300. And OK, and OK. So yeah, so now that's perfect touching. And then this one, I'll change this to 300 as well. And and um, I think that's that's it. So if you don't want to see this line, W or LW line work and hide them. Pretend that's a very nice uh, connection. Okay. Okay. So now uh, the floor and the walls all good. Now we can place some walls. To place it, this wall, the easiest way is to just um, place wall and use attach top. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. So W A. So first, let's create some wall. So W A wall. Um, which one? Maybe uh, let's try 200 wall. And I'm going to use a uh, finish face exterior. So when I pick the wall, it will be placed to align with this edge. Use the exterior of the wall. So pick line. In the C, you will see this uh, dash line. Make this dash line uh, inside of this shape. You can, if you move your cursor inside of this line, it will go outside. That's not correct. So what we need is we need this dash line inside of the boundary of this uh, these floors uh, or walls of the sorry <laughs> floors or roof. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So pick, oh, so pick, and uh, doesn't matter. We can trim them. So pick, 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 and pick and. Pick. Pick. So now let's have a look uh, in 3D view. So now we have these f uh, very high, uh, very tall walls. So eight meter high. So by default, yeah. And let me just trim these two, these two. Okay. So now we have all the wall we need. So the next step is select all these wall. We just need to uh, attach top and attach base. Okay, so attach top. So by default, it's attach wall top, right? And then we need to pick this wall. Okay, so um, uh, just click on detach. And then attach top base. This time, pick base and pick the this and detach. So because we need to do it again, because currently we only did attach to this one and this one. And and oh, this one. Okay, so we also need to attach to this. Uh, hang on, which one? Uh, this one and this one. So once again, without um, just still have all these walls selected, and attach top. And this time, pick this one. And then just click whatever <laughs> option we have. And once again, attach. Base, pick this, uh, attach, detach. Okay, so let's have a look at what, what's happening here. Mm, maybe, uh, okay, so it's, it looks like this wall attached to this. Mm, maybe we detach this, this, and this one, detach and pick this roof. So now all the wall is in the correct location. Let me change the shade so you can see all these wall. And so and that's 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 it. So and then you can change the um, change the wall type. So for example these you can select all these and change them. So maybe this one as well to so for example curtain wall. And then I'll join Oh, hell. Uh, looks like because um, let's go back. The reason this is happening um, is so this this wall, the location line of this wall is uh, exterior. So when we change this wall in 
to uh to to curtain wall the curtain wall will be placed centered to the edge of the line what we need is we need this curtain wall um to be on under the roof under the roof not half half under the roof okay so so what we need to do and also depending on the thickness of the wall so these walls are 200 mil uh, thick and the curtain wall here we have is 150 so um, let me think we can we can just change this to wall center which means the line the location line will be 100 offset of this edge and if we change them we change them to 150 curtain wall that will that means uh, we have 225 mil away from this so it should be okay so let's try yep all good so and if you zoom in you will see the gap between this edge to this should be 25 if I do a dimension that's 25 okay so yeah and then so if you don't want these mullion in the middle so you can just edit this uh, edit the type so just uh, get rid of the horizontal grid apply delete delete the grid line and okay so that's it and um, yeah and actually in the here we have some a uh, step it's not a curve floor it's not a ramp so instead it's uh, all uh, steps but I think uh, that that would be easy for you to do it you don't need to do this just do uh, uh, floors and with different level um, that's that's it let's make it look nicer um maybe turn off the shadow and maybe make it play with the some play with the light Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.